the conversation shifts from, you know, the preseason, the spring game to first year expectations for Shane Beamer. You take a look at this schedule, very friendly in the first half. You look at the second half, you know, we mentioned Auburn, but you've got, got teams like Texas A&M, Florida, Clemson, you know, at Mizzou. It is a very tough stretch in that second half. When it comes to overall record, overall record, and also, though, just what you want to see from South Carolina as a football team. Because I think, at least for me, Mike, you know, the record's important, but in some ways it's secondary for me in year one of the Shane Beamer era. What are things, if you were speaking to South Carolina fans, if you could say, hey, this is what you should be looking for, this is what you should most be paying attention to outside of the record. We'll start there. If you were talking to Carolina fans, you're saying, this is what you should be paying attention to most outside of the record. I'm sure you're having this conversation with Tennessee fans as well. What are the things fans should be looking for and you would most want to see in Shane Beamer's first year? Uh, I would say the defense making strides because it was just god awful at times last year. But 36 that... points per game, by the way, last year. 36 <laughs> points per game. But you know, it's you'd be you'd be surprised how many, you know, many shows I do like this, and I'm saying, well, the defense has got to improve. Defense across the board in college football yeah. was just down. So I think uh, defense makes a stride. That's what you got to be looking for. And like, you know, your your boy right there, Luke Doty. I'm, you got a Luke Doty tattoo? I can't tell there on the yeah, neck. right here. Here you go. Uh, he's, he's got <laughs> four years potentially to play. So uh, I think you got to find out what you got in him and see if he's your guy. Uh, so th- those are kind of the keys to me. And just, uh, you know, I, I think the way you really spur a new coaching staff, there's a lot to sell. Uh, obviously, the, the tremendous facilities they got down there. Once players get down there, uh, start buying into the program. But – how you really get that thing going is you can talk about it because everybody talks about it. Right. And it's, you know, that can be disappeared real quick. If you go out, out here and you go, you know, God forbid one in seven in the sec or something terrible like that. So what you got to do is obviously win your winnable games here, your non-conference games uh, outside of uh, the final one there, but you know, you got to upset somebody whether that be Texas A&M or Georgia or Florida or something like that. And hell, you best not lose to Mike Bobo. I think Auburn may be the worst team in the West this year. So I think that's, that's probably a lot more winnable game than, than a lot of people, maybe not South Carolina fans, but national people are, are giving them credit for hell. They whoop Auburn's ass last year, do it again, and then get you another one like a Florida. Uh, I hate to even call Kentucky an upset at this point, but yeah. it, it may be, I think Kentucky's going to be pretty good, but I think you really got to get like a Georgia or, you know, some of these may be unrealistic, but all you need is one and you can, you can build upon that. And, and that's something you sell to recruits to say, yeah, maybe we, maybe we go six and six this year, but we beat insert Texas A&M or Florida or something like that. And we could beat the rest of them if we get you on campus. So that's kind of what I'm looking at if I'm a Gamecock fan. 